There is something special about this place which probably can't be expressed in words. And once someone come over here is bound to fall in love with nature. Hello viewers, in this video and few upcoming videos, we are gonna take you to the heaven. I'm not kidding, a piece of heaven is here in Canada and that's Banff, Jasper or I would say the entire Canadian Rockies. In these videos, we are gonna share our detailed 4 days of itinerary of our visit to Banff, Jasper and Yoho National Park. Along with that, we are gonna share all those cost cutting tips and tricks which has helped us to plan our trip within budget and to get the most out of this vacation. So without further ado, let's go ahead and explore. Let's quickly check where's Banff is located and how we can reach there. It is located in the province of Alberta. We travel from Greater Toronto area. So flew from Toronto International Airport to Calgary International Airport. Cost cutting tips. Check for Flair Airline. I found the price is comparatively cheap. We have arrived Calgary International Airport at around 10.30 am and picked our rental car from Enterprise. Cost cutting tips. If you have Costco membership, use that for rental car discount. Also, if you have credit card which covers rental car insurance, use that to save some dollars. From nearby grocery stores, loaded our car with water, drinks, dry food, frozen food, etc. and started 1 hour 30 minutes drive towards one of the most beautiful places in the world. We arrived at Banff entrance. To avoid the line, purchase the pass online. I'll add the link in description. Finally, we entered at Banff. Our first stop was Banff Candola, which is located just 5 minutes away from the beautiful town of Banff on the shoulder of Sulphur Mountain. Tips Take Candola ride when the sky is clear, that is not cloudy. How are you feeling today? Are they also scared? Those who are going down? Or are they fine? Mm. See, here we will reach. Wow. We didn't love. You see the beautiful rocky? I'm excited. See that lake? The turquoise water? We were having fun in Gandola. It took us to the mountain top. It was super windy, but the view was unreal. That's Lake Minawanka and the river which you are seeing it's Bow River. It has flowed all the way to Calgary. From here, a short boat walk took us to the Weather Observatory National Historic Site on the season's peak and we were rewarded with another breathtaking view.
After reaching on the top, we took some great pictures. This place is so beautiful, you may want to capture every single moment. Next we went to Lake Minawanka. It's a glacial lake located on the east side of the BAM. Along with scenic beauty, this 21 km long lake offers boat tour, which is really amazing. There are lots of picnic tables by the lake. We had our lunch over here and then enjoyed the view from different sides. Then we started driving to one of the iconic place of Banff National Park, that's Lake Louis. It was one hour 20 minutes of drive, in between we stopped at Bo River viewpoint and enjoyed its scenic beauty. Then continued our drive and reached at Lake Louis. Probably you might have seen millions of pictures of this lake in Instagram. This is Fairmont Chateau located just in front of the lake. Tips. Plan to visit Lake Louis early morning or at evening as getting the parking is bit challenging. This beautiful lake is known for its turquoise glacier feed water surrounded by a lifetime's worth of jaw-dropping sights and adventures. Its immaculate view is really unparalleled. That small house is Lake Louis Boathouse and people rent kayak from here. We hiked by the lake and went on the opposite side to that farm just to experience water flowing from glacier to the lake. This place is so beautiful, once you are here probably you don't want to leave this place. From the other side of the lake, we have seen amazing sunset at Lake Louise. Then we drove 30 minutes to HA Mosquito Creek Wilderness Hostel. Remember to reach hostel before dark. We were almost lost at that night. If you are not familiar how this wilderness hostels looks like, let me quickly show you and share with you a few important tips. Price is comparatively cheaper, fully equipped kitchen for cooking, no running water, only solar power, having such hostels to fill the nature more closely. Next morning we have started our day with world famous Morin Lake and visited lots of other places. We'll share our day to itinerary soon. Consider subscribing and turn the bell notification on so that once I upload the video, you get notified. Stay connected. See you soon.